All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mayor Greg Stanton, and today is a very, very special day for myself, the members of the City Council who are up here with me, Councilman Michael Nowakowski, Councilman uh, Jim Waring. We're really representing all of the City Council, but really we're representing the 1.5 million people of the City of Phoenix, because it's really this presentation of the key to the city is on behalf, Randy, of all of the citizens of this uh, great uh, city. So today is a celebration of you, your success, the success of the Diamondbacks, what you represented previously and what you still represent for this community, the very best of this uh, city. So in a few moments, we'll do the formal um, handing over of the key to the city to the great Randy Johnson. But before that, I just want to give a few thank yous because an event of this importance couldn't happen unless a lot of people came together to make it happen. First, I know some of the reporters are going to be asking the question, was any taxpayer money used <laughs> to pay for the key to the city? No. We had the generous donation of Chase Roberts uh, Air Conditioning, Bob Sissy and Rachel Shank, and Bob Shank is up here with us. Thank you, Chase Roberts Air Conditioning for being a great sponsor of this to make this happen, supporting Randy, supporting the Diamondbacks, supporting the people of the city of Phoenix to allow this great event uh, to happen. Um, we are lucky to have the best baseball franchise in all of Major League Baseball here in our community. It's because we have the best management uh, of that franchise, the best president of uh, in all of baseball is our friend Derek Hall is going to say a few moments and uh, say a few words in just a moment. I would say thank you, Derek Hall, because this event wouldn't be happening without the support of you and of the team. Another sponsor is Sport, Travel, and Tours. And if you are interested in traveling to Cooperstown to see this legend be inducted into the Hall of Fame, go to this website, BigUnitExpress.com. It is not, yeah. There is no subtlety there. BigUnitExpress.com, uh, if you would like to experience this once in a lifetime opportunity to see uh, this gentleman be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Brian Weymouth of the Phoenix Sister Cities Commission is here. He helped to organize this whole event. He's going to be organizing a series of events to celebrate this grand occasion in our city uh, history. Brian, thank you for your uh, leadership and support, wherever you are. Right there, friend. Thank you. You look good in a tie, by the way. I don't, you don't see that too often. And finally, Alan Narrow of uh, Octagon uh, Sports helped to put this, uh, uh, helped to put this together. So uh, I'm going to uh, hand it, the, the podium right now over uh, to Derek Hall, who's going to say a few words. He's going to hand it back over to me as I say a few words. And then myself, Councilman Waring, and Councilman Alkowski will make it official with the keys to the city. So without further ado, the number one president in all of Major League Baseball, President Derek Hall. Thank you, Mayor, and I thank the council for making this possible today. What a great turnout. Good to see so many D-backs fans here at City Hall. This is wonderful. This, this has really been a big year for Randy Johnson and for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I mean, first, we learned that Randy Johnson would be inducted into the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown this summer. Then we learned that Randy made the decision to go in as an Arizona Diamondback. <laughs> And then we announced that we would retire the number 51 at Chase Field, which we will be doing on August 8th this year. We can't wait for that. And then Randy and I got together and both determined that he needed to be back in the organization, and he decided to come to work for us as special assistant to the president and CEO. So Randy is back in the family where he belongs, which has been terrific. I, this is off, uh, you know, obviously special to us with Randy now becoming our first, the first Diamondback to be enshrined in, in Baseball's Hall of Fame. 
and it means so much to everybody in this city. And you look at who he is. And I've been to a number of the inductions in Cooperstown for a lot of my friends and coworkers and people that I've watched play for years. And they've all been special, but none will be more special than this year uh, when my friend and the greatest baseball player to ever put on a Diamondback uniform is going to Cooperstown where he belongs forever. And thank you. And in closing, you know, years ago I was on the Phoenix uh, Pride Commission, and for the most part we identified points of pride that were locations in this great city, uh, but you have to say Randy Johnson is a point of pride for, for the city of Phoenix. Everything that he has done for Phoenix, bringing us and bringing Arizona our first major championship and generating memories for all of us to cherish forever. So thank you to the mayor, to the city council, thanks to all of you, and most importantly, thanks to Randy Johnson for making everything this summer possible. Thank you. All right, thank you, uh, Derek Hall. In 1999, the Arizona Diamondbacks we're a second year franchise. Not many people gave our team a chance to even compete. Many doubted this franchise. But then, one of baseball's most skilled and feared hurlers decided to make Phoenix his home. And that changed everything. Randy Johnson gave the Diamondbacks some of his, the best seasons in baseball history. Four of his five Cy Young Awards were earned right here in Phoenix. Our team, our fans, got to witness his perfect game in 2004. Nearly 5,000 career strikeouts. And who can forget how Randy won three games in the 2001 World Series. Let's give it up for that. Randy and his outstanding teammates gave Phoenix our first major sports championship. As someone who grew up here in Phoenix, I cannot even begin to tell you how much that means to myself, my family, to all of the people of this city. None of us forget, will ever forget where we were that night. Thank you, Randy. Randy, you had an incredible career, but you mean more to our community than just about baseball. That's because beyond the statistics and the awards, you made Phoenix a baseball town. And we are so proud that you were elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame on the very first ballot with one of the highest percentages in the history of Major League Baseball. And as Derek mentioned, we are so proud and honored that you will be the first Diamondback hat in Cooperstown. And we are even thankful that you matched your contributions on the field with what you did off the field as well. You have been such a powerful advocate to end homelessness in Phoenix and to honor the women and men in our military. So on behalf of myself, the members of the city council, and all 1.5 million people of, to, of, in the city of Phoenix, we have gathered here in public today to present the greatest left-handed pitcher in the history of Major League Baseball. with the key to the city of Phoenix. Randy, congratulations. Well, first of all, thank you to... Um, thank you, everybody, for making this possible. Uh, first and foremost, all of you for uh, coming out on your lunch break and being DBAC fans, uh, loyal DBAC fans, um, for the organization, um, the mayor's office, and all the people that made today possible. It's, it's been a, a very exciting uh, beginning of the year for me when I got the phone call uh, telling me that I was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. It's nothing that I ever dreamed about. It was something that I just enjoyed playing the game of baseball and worked extremely hard and had a lot of great people surrounding me, teammates, medical staff, organizations, and people making it possible. 
And uh, for that, I want to thank all of them, and I will uh, in Cooperstown uh, in front of everybody that will be there. I'm hoping to see a lot of Arizonians at my induction. It'll be a very exciting day, a day that uh, will be uh, a, not a fitting end to my career, obviously, but uh, will be the, uh, the pinnacle of my career. And uh, I'm excited to continue to be doing work now with the Diamondbacks. I actually just got back from Mobile, Alabama, and was working with some of our younger kids there. And I'm excited about our future, because that's where the future for the Diamondbacks is, in the minor leagues. And so I'm glad that they entrust in me to go down there and work with them. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of you need to get back to lunch <laughs> and back to work. So I do want to thank you all and thank everybody behind me for making this all very possible. Uh, I'm really a loss for words uh, for all this. I just enjoyed doing what I did and tried to do it the best I could. And uh, I'm very humbled and honored. Thank you very much. Randy, congratulations. You make all of us proud. Again, I want to thank, thanks to Chaz Roberts for uh, paying for that beautiful uh, key to the city. Uh, Schmidt Jewelers is the designer. Uh, now, Randy is big, and the key is not. Uh, but, it is a, but it is a beautiful piece of, uh, of jewelry that was designed by uh, Schmidt Jewelers. Hopefully, you all have a chance to take a closer up uh, uh, look at it, because it, it really is a, a piece fitting of uh, the first Diamondback ever to make it into the Major League uh, Hall of Fame. Thanks everyone for coming out to this very, very special uh, event to celebrate this legend of Arizona, not just in baseball, but all he's done for this community. Congratulations again, Randy Johnson.